Hey guys, my name is Sidney Egg and welcome back to Airport CAO, where the last episode, guys, we pretty much expanded. We got this second runway all good and going. One runway is accepting flights in, the other one's making flights go out. So we got a cool little system going on right now. Uh, we're doing pretty good. The airport is running pretty smoothly right now. Uh, big flights are coming in, little flights are going out. We, we seem to be making considerable amounts of money. It's really, really cool. And we started fueling these big planes as well. And you get a ton of money for fueling them. So, it's all good all round. But now, the only place where we're not making the money is once the, the passengers are in the terminal. We need something in here which allow them to start spending money. So we can earn money. We, we can we can be pretty much make an income with every section of the airport, which is pretty cool. And that all comes down to, where is it? Building a shop. Now, before I can, I need to deploy all my workers. But while we deploy them as well, we need to hire a strategy director and unlock shop technology. They say technology like it's something like super duper spooky and crazy. We need to unlock shop technology uh, in the uh, economy panel. So let's go do that now. It kind of be a uh, procurement, if I say that correctly. And we need to unlock that. Where is it? Shop upgrade. Boom. Uh, you don't have the requirements. Ah, oh, it's because we need to get the staff. Hire uh, the dude. You know, you know, you know the dude. The uh, uh, what's it called? The strategy director. Applicants. Where's the board? Strategy director. We need to make it open for applicants. There we go. We're gonna hire a dude. This dude here. Hire him. So it kind of be. Can I now do it? Unlock. Shop upgrade. Boom! We've got six hours for that to complete. Right. While we have that to complete then, there's a few more upgrades I want to take place and get done. So I need to actually get construction. Uh, deploy all of your boys' workforce. I want to expand the staff room up to this point here. Or would you make it go a bit further now? We're going to stay up to this point here. So structures, walls... We'll have this going all the way to the top. Boom. Going in. And the same for the toilet as well. Because this little tunnel going down here is where they exit the, the actual airport. So I always want to make this go all the way up. Because we're expanding the, the toilet, the bathroom, the WC. There you go. We're expanding all of those. And then when it comes to the store that we're going to be building... Hold on, there's a little line there. That's not good, is it? When it comes to expanding the store then, or creating a store, I'm going to actually make it go to there. And go all the way across. It's quite a large store that we're creating. And then probably next to it, I'll probably build like another like a toilet or something. I, I don't know. It gives me a little room here to put down like the path down here with some seats either side. So people can just chill out, relax, you know. Take some time off from their busy scheduled lives before they go on their holly bobs. Right, okay, so secure area. For some reason, all this is not secure and I'm not happy about it. Sweet, mate. Have we got everything else secure? Everything else looks pretty damn good. Right, we just wait for these guys to arrive then. And they're going to start doing it. They're going to start doing all the stuffs. All the stuffs. So what I'm going to do then while I'm waiting for them to do all the stuffs. Is actually get some carpet back down. Now I need to wait. That goes up to there. And that goes up to there. So I pretty much want. If I go there. I've got two space in there. I've got two and a half space in there. So if I went like this. Did a five gap. Run that all the way through. Then kind of work out how I want this. So, we did a five coming from it. Wait, how did I do that, by the way? I start, yeah, start in line there. It is a five, right? What? Yeah, it's a five. No. Is it a four? Hmm. But then again, this is going to the bigger terminal area. So, we can make this a five. It's fine. So, one, two, three, four, five. Right, sweet. That, that's how we're making it. We're making it go up to there by 16. So, five by 16. Boom. And then we have this whole little section coming all the way down. We'll also make that five. And this is the uh, the pathway around. I mean, they don't they barely use it, but it's nice. It's a nice little design feature to it. And I want to place down some seating. Some seating areas down here. So boom, let's get off that. Items! 
Your boy needs uh, gate seating, please. Uh, we'll make this go this direction. We can actually fit two in, which would be nice. So, one, two, one, two. Now do a two. Uh, okay, gap there. Because you want to squeeze as much as you possibly can in. Because these are big flights, and they they have a lot of guests. A lot of people need to sit down and 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 chill. Right, can I rotate that? What what? Oh, then the spacing's a little bit off. I did that one there. And then that one. Ooh, that's nice. It fits in quite nicely. Gives a little nice little gap there. I like it. I like it. So we're going to jump in down some trash cans in various areas. Because this is something that we haven't done. So trash cans all there. Did I place down trash cans before? I don't... Yeah, I did. Oh, they're at the, the gate entrances. Right, I've got two there anyway. Let's drop two here. So one, two. Some people are not happy just standing there. I don't know why. Also, can you make cues from these? Is that a thing? Items? No, infrastructure. No, a lot of things you have to click on them to make the queue, right? So, you can't do a queue. There's, there's a line there. It's weird how they line up for these. Now I've realized I've got the gates the wrong way round. Slightly embarrassing. Are these ones the wrong way around too? Oh dear God, I got all the gates the wrong way round. Ugh. That's, that's annoying. That's so annoying. <laughs> right, okay. Okay, I'll fix that. But then is it going to cause problems in the airport? Oh, that's even more annoying. Like, <laughs> even then one's going to around. Right, okay. We're going to uh, remove... Are you going to remove the connection? Right, I do it. I'm not going to do it right now. i do it in just a moment. Um, let's see. How long we got left on this? Um, tutorial. No. Operations. No, it can't have made you damn fool. Uh, we got three hours to go. Right. While they're doing that, I should I should do it, shouldn't I? I should turn them round. The more I think about it now, the more it's annoying me. Right, I'm going to turn them round. Right, so Hold I only switch round the boarded desks for the flights that, um... Well, for, for the stands that actually have commercial flights. I didn't do it for anyone who just park up. So let me repair that runway. How's everyone doing? And put back into play mode. Everyone's doing pretty good. Sweet, mate. Like it, get. And we pretty much got all these structures now built as well. So let me get to items quickly. And we've unlocked all the shop items too. So where is... No, it's... it's yeah, structures. We're going to go for a small door now. So I'm going to place one here and here. So I need to kind of uh, reconfigure this whole there and there. Uh, bathroom kind of scenario now. And I'll place a door up there for the staff room. Which means I need to bulldoze these walls. Pretty much all of that. Oh, and that. Right, yeah. Oh, no. Don't, don't bulldoze that bit. Yeah, control. There you go. There you go. Right, bulldoze this, please. Sweet. Oh, and put a door over here, too. We'll do large doors on these. Because this is going to be like the shop. So we get that going. Right. So while they're doing that, then, what do I need to do next for the tutorial? So drag out a shop room somewhere in your terminal. Right, we got this. We got this. So areas. Ooh, shop's pink. Nice. Right, let's make this nice and large. Boom. There we go. We got a pink store. So place down a shop counter and shelves in the shop room. All right, you mate. So um, we do the shop counter. We'll do this first. Oh, we can actually do it like a, like a, like a supermarket. <laughs> right, I placed a bunch there. That's that's enough. We'll do large shelving. Should we do large shelving? Right, okay. Uh, we'll have we'll start the shelving, which is the right way. I I, I don't know. We'll, we'll try this way. Right, large shelving going all the way down at the back. Almost fitting. And then we'll do like uh, sections like this. Boom. Just so you know. Like a, like a normal shop. Oh, how, how did that mess up? Right. No, no, don't delete the room. There you go. I don't know how I messed up there. Let's do some medium shelves too. Why not? We'll throw some medium shelves over here. Right, we'll do one there. One there. One there. We we'll squeeze a medium in there, can't I? One there. And we'll, do, we'll throw in some small ones. For the sake of it. 
These are a lot of shelving units, aren't they? Yeah. They definitely are. I've created some form of a pattern. Let's throw some here too. There you go. Your boy's got all the shelves in right now. That's going to give a lot for our workforce to work with now. So we get them going. How are they doing down here, by the way? Oh, they did actually get rid of that wall. <laughs> How deadly dare you, mate. Right, so now to get rid of that, we can actually do the flooring. So we did the wooden floor over here. Right, let's get that all in. Sweet. That's the staff room right there. Flooring for the bathroom tiles. How's that looking? Looking good. We'll just go away from to get rid of that wall, though, and place in more doors. But it's looking sweet, mate. Right, okay, so for the tutorial, then, uh, sign a contract for the room. Uh, oh, we got to sign the contract for the room. Okay, we'll do that once they built everything. Then wait for traveling passengers to perform a purchase. Sweet. So what's it say at the tip here? It says, um, all franchises use their own staff. There is no need to hire any new staff. Okay, shops and food rooms can be placed either inside or outside the secure area. However, note that passengers spend most of their time in the secure area. So it's probably more strategic to place in there. Yeah, makes more sense. It does make more sense. But that's cool. So we don't need to hire any staff whatsoever. That's going to be sweet. Um, and we need to start earning money from people in the terminal. Yeah, bye. Right, flight planner. How you going down, boy? What are we on? We're on a Wednesday. Flights are coming up. We've, we've got pretty much all of them used right now. We could do with some small flights coming in uh, regularly, but we'll hold out. We'll hold out. We'll, we'll fast forward a little bit. We'll see, we'll see how it's going. We've got 190000 left in the bank. We are losing money at the moment. That's fine. Once the flights come, we earn so much money. <laughs> it's crazy. I want to see and get all this stuff in. Do they stock the shelves, and do we see the, 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 the shelves get stocked? Do you reckon that's a thing? I don't know. Uh, what I will do then, put back into play. Right, they're all leaving. It's, it's, it's a quite well-constructed shop, isn't it? Right, flooring. What should I put for flooring in here? I'm feeling this using, like... I don't know, do I do... Oh, dark wood? A dark wood in the floor? In the, sh in the store, should I say? Yes, please. That sounds amazing. I don't think they're actually going to get rid of this wall, are they? I don't think they are. <laughs> they're using it as a cut through. <laughs> it's not the greatest of cut throughs. I will say that. Um, right, maybe I should actually bulldoze that. That door there, just not using the toilet as a cut through. They probably didn't just go through this door here and go through this one. I want to keep that door there for the people who just come off flights and are about to exit. And they can use the toilets. But we'll say this goes down. Oh, there's people now arriving. Uh, do we now have staff? Oh, no, I've got to sign a contract, haven't I? Sign contract. Oh, who do we choose? Right, okay. Okay, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, 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 okay. Right, so. Fl um, quick stop, which is a very cheap, cheap looking. Let me just roll up so we can see. A very cheap one-star store. Uh, rent a day is two. Uh, rent per hour is 92, fine. Uh, it's got room requirements there. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Uh, how big is that room? Let me let me find out that room size very quickly. Um, how do I how do I find out the room size area? Shop. Right, it's a thirty nine by fourteen. Right, just so I know when I'm signing these contracts. So they want a thirty nine. They need a thirty six by two. Is that right? No, I'm not sure what they want here. I can't work out these sizes. I don't even know right now. Uh, but I feel like we can go for a higher one. Paper plane. They want a lot of rent, though. They do want a lot of rent. So maybe we start with quick, quick stop here. And see how things how things go from there. Well, let's fast forward. I want to see them arrive. Will they stock the shelves? I don't know. The more I look at this now in, in, in the toilet area, the more I like the fact that there's a wall there. So maybe I place in like another wall here. It seems it seems nice. It seems nice. All right, turn this into the bathroom area. There we go. Why is it dark?
Ah, uh, because we need stuff in there to open up the room. Okay. Right. Oh, we got cashiers now. Sweet, mate. Are they actually going to start buying stuff? Yeah, one dollar. We just made a dollar. Made a dollar right there. We made another dollar. Uh, we would probably get away with having like a higher, higher, um, what's the word? Star store in there. Maybe. Probably. We could probably get away with that. But we'll see how things go. It's just a tester. Right, so toilets then. We need to drop in the toilets. So these are all the cubitals I can place down. Get these going. Alright, place them up here too. Yeah, we, 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 can't, we, we can't not have enough cubitals. There's a few sinks here. few sinks there and I'll drop a few more sinks there and then we need urinals just to fill up the gaps here whoops don't place them ones there sweet mate right yeah I feel like we can I, can I sign another contract um, review contract Sign on day five, uh, at least four square meter shelves into these two shelves, at least 1,000 sales for completion bonuses. Um, 1,200 sales. Wow, that's a lot of sales from these guys. If they want that, then damn. I don't know what the four star ones want. But what I do need is. <coughs> I, need more, I, need, I need more planes coming in. I need more customers. So we need to. Let me check the flight planner. Uh, we've pretty much got everyone lit hooked up now. I need small planes. I need, I need the smallest of all planes coming in right now. No, we're not delaying flights. So we've done it. We've done the store, and then it's now onto the uh, con basic conveyor belt system that we're going to be have set up very very soon. Then what's after that? Conveyor belt systems, about securing them, more complex ones. Oh man, there's a huge section on conveyor belt systems. Okay. Right, contracts then. We need to be offered some flight ones, so airlines. Uh, right, okay, let's do this. So we start with the small ones, Air Strada. Uh, they're all medium. Right, I'm going to reject that contract. Uh, maple, light, flight, small. Yes, signed, maple. You got signed, mate. Get out of here. Skidaddle. Any more one-star ones? Uh, light, class, small. Skidaddle out of here. Your boy got that sweet, light, small aircraft. Oh, we're just dropping the light ones down because we just need, we need a ton of them. We need a ton. They're all still small, and probably the last small one. Yeah. Right, done. Get out of here, skidaddle, mate. Right, let's sort this flight planner out right, then. So we start with this one. These are all small ones. I need to be at uh, three hours, don't they? So confirm. And again, I got to stagger these. So I don't want them all at the same time. Boom. Boom. Oh, we're going to get so many passengers now coming in. I'm going to squeeze one more there. Oh, yeah, I can. I can. You just got to get it right. Hey, come back here, you fool. There you go. All right, for a first day, then, we've done all the CLM. Now it's time. Oh, Maple? We've got some linked flights here. Yeah, we'll go with them. Link in the flight. Uh, another Maple. Another Maple Link. Nice. I like the link ones because they just put them throughout every day. You ain't got to like reschedule any of them. So we got some sky link then, and we'll get these all rocking and a rolling. It's quite cool as well because it doesn't really matter now that how close I put them to like the end of each one because we got you know designated runways for taking off and and stuff like that. So boom, you just gotta make sure it doesn't you know kind of. A bunch of them land you know, relatively like at the same time. Right, Skylink, you're going down. We're going to have so many planes come on come on the first day. Maybe I should uh, hold out a bit. But then again, there's a lot of passengers coming through that we could potentially go to the store. Our new, brand new spanking shop that we created. Uh, is that all of them then? Yeah. Right, nice. We've got a few days there worth of flights coming through. We've got a couple of Link flights as well. We should be a rocking and a rolling right now. Nice. Right, can I designate all these to also being red? Uh, send it red, please. 
You know your boy's going to be the Seniac Red. So that ba baggage parallel system, it seen as there's so many like tutorials on it, it seems like that could be quite the complex system to set up. So we're going to have a quick look at it now. Let me just set all these to red. A quick look at it now and see how complex it is going to be. Because that could be a whole episode on its own, just setting up that whole system. And it, and it quite, it, it's going to kind of scare me a little bit how complex that may be. Also, with how big this airport now is, I'm surprised that we uh, managed to get away. What, what did you want? Satisfaction. What's wrong with you, mate? What's going on? Why, why are you standing here, mate? Have you arrived too early for the flight? Have we got enough staff down here? Checking desk. We could hire more staff, can't we? Uh, staff. Airport staff. Right, let's hire a bunch. Put the air airport staff down. Hire a few more janitors too if there's any applicants. There only seems to be two working on a desk. Can I up that? Yeah, let's up that. Can we get two working on here, please? Can we get two staff working on here, please? Today? They seem to be going through quite nice. I don't know what those guys are still standing there for. I don't know. They, 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 they seem to, to fly through that system there. How's this? The security holds up well. You, I mean, they can't improve that. If once they get the build up in the queues, you can't get any better than what they're getting. Right, is this now open? Open the room. Yeah, the room's now open. It's light. Beautiful. The staff room's here. Let's um, get the areas for the staff rooms. Nice. There you go. Sweet, mate. Right, okay. So, passengers are only now just coming into the terminal. So, we got to wait for them to, before they start spending all the cash money. Very nice. <laughs> I'm loving this store thing here. Let's see. How many, any more going to use it? Are we get like a dollar every time? Or is it like the multiple items they pick up? That'd be, yeah, you just spend a dollar. Stunners. It must be because it's a one star, you know store that's probably what it is potentially anyway right they're doing good now they're all checking in the right way because we've got the desk the right way around yeah look at that we're making money we're making all the monies now this is good we're doing good right, how, what's the queue like down here so it's, it's going through we've got two people working on it they can get through it nice and quick Look at that. We, we're tearing through this like butter right now. We are on fire! Right, let's take a look at this then. Tutorial. Uh, where is it? So, it's, uh, we need to unlock baggage handling system. Right, that's through the um, economy recruitment there. We've got other stuff as well, like anti-spam filter. Are you tired of receiving pointless messages? Right, we'll unlock that. We don't have to, we don't have to require it through it. Trail scanner. You no longer get uh, inside the system. Review real time where the targeted person has been. Ooh. Travel document scanner allows you to operate passengers to really do time. Uh, in display, passport boarding card. Okay, mind reader. There's a lot of stuff here that we haven't even had, like food franchises. For a new business. Can I unlock that as well? Yeah, we get that going. Right, for the baggage handling thing then. So what do we need for that? Uh, requires a COO. So staff the board. COO is now open. Um, we're looking for the COO. We're going to hire this dude here because it's a little bit cheaper than everybody else. You know, your boy likes that cheapness. And then uh, operate. No, isn't it? where is it? Economy. I can't even say that word. Procurement. Pro pro whatever it is. Uh, baggage handling system. It's 250000 It's a good job I never bought that because uh, we, we actually don't even have the money for it. So we've got to wait for a few more flights to come through. What's going on over here? Are we gonna get? Is someone gonna fix this? Huh? Or have I got to repair it? Staff. Security ramp service technicians. I've hired a few of those ramp agents. Hire a few more of those. Did they? Did they? Did they fix these? Or what? How? Did, how does that work? Why is there a plane here? How did that happen? <laughs> I don't know how that plane got there. 
Right, no, I'm, I'm going to repair this now, because I don't know if they repair it or not. How did that plane get there? And how do I get you out? I don't know what you're doing, dude. I have no idea how to get you out. Status runway not found. What do you mean? The runways are here. Oh, is it because of this one here? That one could be repairing. Where's it gone? It just disappeared on me. Well, I don't even know. Security handling things fine? I'm hoping so. Where are they going now? They're going to a different queue. Why? Did somebody go on like... Ah, oh, I think one of the guys went on a break. So they're using a different place now. Right, let me uh, staff. Get out of here. We'll make sure we got enough security on deck for when we need them. So if anybody gives them breaks and we can replace them, that's fine. Uh, how's how's the, the store? It's closed. Contract not complete. Wow. Okay. Uh, cancel contract. Yeah. So we, we didn't quite get what we needed for that contract. They wanted a lot of people. Sales bonus. Uh, damn. Right, should we just go for a big boy one? Pick and fly. Airport cut. What one with the biggest cut? 17%. This one. Boom. Come on, I'm trying to sign the contract here. Okay, baby. I can't actually sign a contract. Oh, maybe because I don't have what it needs. Okay. Right. Let me try AS go. Ah, I can sign them. Right. So I'm wondering now, because because we was getting like a dollar from each one of the last ones. I wonder how many dollars we get for each one of these. We we'll probably only see these coming tomorrow now. Yeah, that's probably what we're gonna see. Them arrive tomorrow. All right, see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. Right. So does that mean then we got the other? Let me get to, is it operation? No, economy. Did we get the fast food franchise? Yeah. So, do we have now items for that? Food items. Oh, we do. That one's grayed out, though. I don't know why. Uh, we can actually build our own fast food restaurant. That would be pretty handy. Right, I just want to see when's our next plane coming in. I don't know when. Right, we're going to quickly put it into play mode. We're going to structures now. Walls here. And uh, we're going to build our own little fast food joint. I'm going to build it here. We're going to see how this one goes down. So, we do large doors on this place as well. So, one there, one there, going all the way through. I'm going to have more stores running around on the different sides. Anyway. Just, the more you've got there, the more likely you are to start making a bunch of cash money. Uh, food. Right, sweet. And then items. So it looks like that one's grayed out. I don't know why, but we're going to get the calf counter here. Uh, if we're close to look at it, okay. I just, just want to see where where I'm looking at it. Right. We'll do three calf. No, we do four calf counters. Fridge display. There you go. So it's a bunch of stuff that they can pick up off the shelves here. And then go and buy it in the count in the stuff there. So shouldn't I have like a table and chairs? Shouldn't that be a thing? I wonder if that great thing out is there. Maybe I gotta research some other stuff. I don't know. Right, we'll see. And I wonder if we actually um, do. You have to hire a contract for this one too. Sign a contract. Oh, Crane's Burgers, nice. Valentino. No, we're gonna go Crane's Burgers. I know. I got. I gotta wait anyway. I gotta wait for them to build the room before I can accept one of those contracts. Oh, we should put flooring in there too. Right, structures, floor. We'll go. We'll do this flooring. Larger squares, looking nice. Right, sign a contract. Where's Crane's Burgers? We're having burgers up at the airport. Right, there you go. Wait for them to arrive, and then the room will be open. We got burgers. We got all sorts going down right now. Right, so anybody gonna go into the store and buy things, please? 
Please, someone, store, buy things. Buy some of my merch. Because, you know, it's sounding like a god church. No, nobody. <laughs> no, we cry. <laughs> we cry. Contract not complete. Right, it's open. Okay, really? No, we're still only getting a dollar. So it must be just in general. Right, why are they going to the back? Oh, it's the wrong way round. I wish it was more kind of, you know, physically there to tell us which way these things need to go round. But, oh, they seem to be getting quite a lot. They, they love the food. They're loving the food one more. They seem to want to buy all the foods. This is good. Money is rolling. I'm seeing green dollars everywhere. This is good. This is legit good. So, yes, granted, the canteen stuff is the wrong way round. Um, I'll fix that. Don't worry. But I guess we're going to call it anyway, guys. So, it looks like next episode, then, we're going to be focusing on the baggage claim area, which is a whole system where, you know, obviously, you know, if you've been to an airport you've fought before, you know what one of those is. Um, you know, when, when they go here... You can kind of see the conveyor belt systems there. They put a bag on there, and it goes underground. It does in real life, anyway, like to like some sorting area when it gets put in the plane. Would that be another way in how we can then charge to get money for like checking in bags? Could be. It could be. But either way, the airport. It's doing pretty good. We seem to be killing it with all the cash money moolah right now. Now, we can't get that baggage claim area anyway until I've got a quarter of a million in the bank. But the way things are going, we're just actually raking in the money. It's crazy. Well, anyway, guys, that's what we're going to call it for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Airport CEO. If you did, hit the like button down below. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So good. Bye. Listen.